important tool to help you take care of your asthma. And this, piece, this tool is a piece of paper called the Asthma Action Plan. We're going to talk about this for a second. You should make sure that you have one of these to look at to help you take care of your child's asthma after you've left our office. The Asthma Action Plan, as you can see, is sort of broken into different zones by color. Green zone, yellow zone, red zone. And when you talk to the doctors or the nurses taking care of you or your child, we're going to probably be using these kind of terms to ask you which zone you think your child's in. So in the green zone, that usually means that everything's okay, your child is not having any symptoms, and usually your child's probably going to be taking a medicine to keep them in the green zone. That's what we call a controller or sometimes a maintenance medicine. And that'll be listed here and how much they need to take and how often. Now sometimes, of course, children get sick from their asthma when they're exposed to their trigger and then they'll get some asthma symptoms and then they'll land in one of these other zones. The yellow zone, as you can guess, is not quite as severe. Um, it's got some symptoms like coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, having some trouble with their breathing. And so you're going to start usually another medicine. Now this is usually going to be uh, a medicine called albuterol that is what we call a rescue medicine, um, an inhaler or nebulizer, and this tells you how much to use and how often. Once again, most kids when they start having symptoms, they're going to be in the yellow zone, they're going to take their medicine and hopefully if things go well, they'll kind of get back to the green zone. But the uh, action plan tells you what to do if either they're getting worse or it seems like they're not getting better. Finally, unfortunately, some kids get even sicker and they land in the red zone. What sometimes happens, they get sick really fast and they may kind of almost skip over the yellow zone and you might find them uh, already in the red zone. This is a child who's having a lot of trouble breathing. They may not be able to talk in complete sentences and they look really um, like they're having a really hard time. Once again, you're going to give probably more albuterol right away and then you're going to call our office or talk to our um, answer line after hours to decide what the next best step to take care of your child. So make sure you have an action plan when you leave the doctor's office uh, after talking about asthma so that you'll know what to do if your child gets sick with their asthma. And sometimes this needs to be updated periodically. It's also a good idea that if your child is old enough to be in, in daycare or preschool or in school, to make sure you have extra copies so that you can give it to those caregivers as well. Thank you very much, and we want to keep you well.